Hi, this is YC. Welcome back to my channel, YC Cooks and Bakes. Today, I'm going to be just frying up some chicken thighs, and I'm going to make a southern yellow squash casserole. And I thought I would take you along for parts of it. And I've done this casserole before, so I'm going to leave the link in the description for you so you can definitely get the recipe to it. It is our family favorite. It's really, really good. It's our go-to when the yellow squash, crooked neck squash, another name for it, is in season. And uh, chicken thighs, I wanted chicken breasts, but all the stores seem to be out of them. So I got some chicken thighs and I'm gonna try this uh, medium hot house of Autry breading. And I'm gonna try my chicken thighs with this for a change. Just to have, you know, I, I usually like the Kentucky Colonel breading, um, and I even tried, you know, you saw me earlier in the year, I tried the Hooters breading, but I'm going to try this uh, House of Autry medium hot to put a little bit of spice in our chicken this time, a little bit of heat. And uh, so we're going to start off with cutting um, the squash, and you want to make sure that they're clean, they're not dirty or anything, and you cut the ends off, of course. And then you just do thin slices like this. And you use three to four. So if you have a garden, uh, eventually, you know, everyone's going to have their garden going. It's just, we're at the, t the beginning of spring here, but just use three to four of these. And I'm sure it would work with zucchini also. Okay. And you're also going to want to shred um, a half of a large or a medium white onion. You're going to want to shred also for this recipe. You don't want to just leave them chunky because they may not cook in the amount of time allotted for this recipe. Um, there they are. And I'm just going to put them, you see on the bottom here, these holes? This is my steamer. So I'm just going to steam these for about four to five minutes over some boiling water. But if you have a microwave, you can just put them in a bowl and that. Please do not add water, it'll turn them to mush. Crooked neck yellow squash come with their own water. Just put them in the bowl and put them in there for a few minutes. And um, I'll be doing these, like I said, four to five minutes uh, because they're already sliced up. You know, if they weren't sliced up, it would take more like 12 minutes. Um, and, or you can saute them in a frying pan which I have also done. Um, and the other parts of this recipe, like I said, you want the uh, medium grated onion, you want a can of carrots or shredded carrot. But I don't, I couldn't find any of the really thin, thin sliced shredded carrot in the store. So what I do uh, to prevent, you know, hard carrots in your casserole, you just buy the can of carrots, which is already cooked, you know. And um, then, uh, eight ounces of sour cream, a can of mushroom soup, and a pack of uh, stuffing mix. Um, now, I was just in Food Lion where for some reason they seemed to, re they removed all the no-name brands for some reason. My dish soap, everything, I don't know why. They wanted us to buy name brand. Well, I'm not about that. And I still spent $80 just on a run. I was just so upset. Uh, but, um, they want you to buy those big brands. So I still found a no-name brand in the cornbread stuffing. It wasn't chicken like I wanted, because I like the chicken stuffing mix. But they wanted me to get um, um, that fancy stuffing, you know, that you get. I can't remember what you call it. But anyway, they wanted us to get the expensive brands. Every time I turned around, I noticed the no-name brands or that the store brands were taken off the shelf. I don't know what that was about or if just they are low on everything and everybody already bought up the no-name brands. I don't know, but it was, it was very depressing. And uh, you're also going to need some shredded cheese for this uh, casserole also. But I'll let you know as we go along. And I'm going to steam these uh, four yellow squash that I just cut up. Okay, so I steamed uh, the yellow squash and now I'm going to take some onion and shred it for this recipe. And I'll have, you know, what you're supposed to put the oven to, how long and everything. Uh, you know, it, everything will be in the description on the link that I set aside for you. And um, right now I'm just going to shred some onion. 
And the reason you're shredding this is because in the short amount of time that it takes this casserole to cook, it's not going to um, be able to cook big chunks of onion. You know what I mean? It, they need to be more fine or you'll end up with, you know, raw onion, big chunks of raw onion. I want this. And you do want to spray um, or grease a 9 by 13 casserole dish, like a Pyrex, like I always use my glass one. And melt um, a stick of butter or like a half a cup. Okay. Let me see if I can. Just trying to get another piece of onion ready to shred here. I don't want this outer part because it doesn't seem to want to shred. Okay. And when I fry, I'm just going to, um, I already breaded my chicken while I was waiting on the yellow squash to steam. And I'm just going to lightly fry it on top of the uh, stove and then throw it in the oven to finish cooking. That's all I'm going to do. That's enough minced onion. You want to, you know, have some onion in your dish. So we'll go ahead and bring the bowl here now. Big chunks. Go ahead and put your onion in. And I'll probably stir in the squash last because I don't like it to be all pulverized and I like to have some chunks of squash. I don't like it to be all mush, you know which is another reason you don't put water with it in the microwave if you're steaming it in the microwave. Um, and we do put a whole uh, box of uh, stuffing of your choice. It doesn't really matter what kind. Just so you know. I've done this for uh, the people who have subscribed to me for a long time. Uh, they are, have already seen this, and they may already have it written down somewhere. I don't know. And then here's your, the stick of butter. Don't worry, between the squash and the stuffing, it actually gets absorbed. It's not like you're going to, not like this casserole's going to be oily or anything, it's not. And then um, you want a can of uh, mushroom soup. See that name brand? I wanted the Food Lion brand. Guess what? They took them all away. Do not know what is going on here. So, these people are going to buy this food or else. You see them doing inventory one day and all of a sudden something drastic happens the next day. It's like, okay. What is going on? Oh, I'm hot. You can hear my dryer going. Um, you know, yesterday was our anniversary, so 
I did not do laundry yesterday, of course. So I am stuck with doing it today. My husband has to go to work here very soon. I just took my son, one of my sons, to, to work. Oh. Okay, there's a whole can of carrots. And that I actually found in the store brand. I was like, so happy. I was like, ooh, I don't have to buy a, a name brand carrot. Okay. And then you want eight ounces of sour cream, which would be like half this. We used this on baked potatoes with steak yesterday. We had steak and baked potato yesterday. Um, and garden salad. So I'm just going to put enough in here to make half the container because it's a 16 ounce container and we only need eight ounces of sour cream in this recipe. For my cloth. Okay. Now, all right, that's probably it right there. And um, I can use this, the rest of this sour cream on something else. That one was from my GA which is where I bought my steaks yesterday. Whew. It is warm in here, let me tell you. So this is because of the squash and the carrot um, that's going to take care of our vegetable for this meal and because of the stuffing That's going to take care of our carb You know our our, our, our flour, you know what I mean? Um, so that's all we just use this casserole with a uh, Fried chicken thigh and that's it and that's the meal Okay, let me make sure I have everything in this um we, well, I have to put the squash, of course, but the butter's in it, the grated onion, the carrots, the sour cream, the cream of mushroom, and uh, the stuffing, and then we don't put in the cheese till after it's uh, thrown into the casserole dish, and we just sprinkle some cheese on top. So, and you can, you know, use whatever seasonings you want for this. Keep in mind that the stuffing mix and the butter is going to have a little bit of salt, and if you put cheese on top after, that's going to have a little bit of sodium. So, you know, if you you may want to opt, you know, not to use the sodium if you're cutting back on salt. Do not just do not use it. You know what I mean, like that. Okay, I am going to go get this the squash. Okay, I put the steamed squash on top, and um, I don't know if you can see it, but you see how I still have. You can see that it's whole pieces. You don't want it to where it's, you don't see that. You know, you don't want baby food. You want squash. I'm just saying. So you just kind of fold it in. good enough you don't want to overdo it and then um here's the spray pan wipe this Whew. I'm telling I wish you all could feel the heat in this kitchen it seems like it happens this time of day when it's time to cook when it's built up all day long you know okay so you just want to spread it out. This is your, if you've never had this, this is your, no, your new, excuse me, go-to favorite summer squash casserole. Southern style, southern squash casserole.
Okay, and this is without the cheese on top. Let me wipe this aside a bit. It's looking a little messy. And then, um, let's see. Okay, and I have some shredded cheese left in a bag. Usually I just use cheddar. I have some parm. I don't know if I want to use it or not. I might. Okay. Or I could just take the cheddar I have left and shred it over it. I use the onion on this, but it's okay. It's all in the same dish. Okay, I'm going to keep shredding this on top like this, and then I'm going to put this in the oven and get my fried chicken going. Okay, I've been running. Um, I got all the laundry done and put away. Yay! Um, anyway, uh, I still have the food in the oven. It should be done any minute, and I'll be able to show you what it looks like. And then I have to get in the car again. So, but then I don't get in the car again till like midnight, and then again at 5.30 in the morning. But I'm always going, going, going. Um, what I didn't realize is we live near um, an Army and Air Base, and we didn't know that they were going to do um, an air show this weekend. And we usually, in May, we look forward to that. But for some reason this year, they did it early. And <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we were waking up to, and going to sleep to, loud helicopters, loud airplanes. Um, you know how they do things like they show the people on the bombing range and stuff. And... Uh, the whole house would shake, you know, and then you, you just get to sleep and then you'd hear <laughs> the, the airplanes would be going by again. My husband, because he is, uh, his dad was Air Force and he was Army, he slept through the whole entire thing. Didn't even phase him. He's used to that. But I was waking up every five minutes. Anyway, um, what did I say earlier that the casserole took care of the vegetable and then I said something like flour. It takes care of the starch of the meal. <laughs> I don't know why I said that flour, but anyway, it takes, you know, the, the stuffing in it takes care of the starch and then um, the carrots and squash take care of the vegetable. And uh, of course, then there's a fried piece of chicken. So, um, and that's what we're going to be having this evening and I'll show it to you as soon as it's done. I don't know if you can see me okay it's time for us to eat um, I'm gonna have to actually run instead of eating but uh I'll show you what it looks like there's the fried chicken looks good and here's the southern squash casserole that I'm going to leave the link in the description for you to be able to make Everything looks great. And that is our supper tonight. I don't know if you can see me. But anyway, that's our uh, southern squash casserole and our spicy fried chicken thighs. Everybody have a great night.